This is a guide for the second part of the Shaving Lenny mission, which is called Barbershop. This guide is for the purest difficulty and will show you how to get silent and signature kills on all the targets in the area, hide their bodies and remove the evidence whilst remaining undetected. After you've completed all the challenges for the Shaving Lenny mission and completed the Barbershop in the way this guide suggests, you will receive 141,100 score from this mission. At the start, make your way across the garden and go down the stairs. At the bottom of the stairs are some barrels. Take cover on them and move all the way to the end of the table so you can pick up the bottle. Go back behind the barrels and throw the bottle at the wall to the right of the police officer leaning on it. As soon as the police officers are distracted, go to the other side of the lower area and pick up the wrench from the barrel ahead. Go to the dumpster on the other wall and throw the wrench below the lever. Then quickly enter the dumpster and stay in it until the police officer that comes to investigate has his back towards you. Sneak up on him, garret him and hide the body in the dumpster you just were in. Pick up the wrench and repeat the same thing to take out another police officer. Garreting enemies counts as a silent kill. That combined with hiding the police officer's bodies recovers all the score you lose by killing the police officers. However, the guards count as civilians and garreting them will cause you to lose score you can't regain. After you've hidden the second police officer, pick up the wrench again and go back to the right section of the wall next to the dumpster. Jump up to the ledge and pull yourself up. Go around the corner and as soon as you can, jump up to the next ledge and pull yourself up, which is only possible after you've gone somewhere along the ledge. Follow the ledge all the way around to a window and climb through the window. When you are in the room, sneak to the next room and throw the wrench back into the room you got into through the window near the cabinet. Take cover on the wall to the right of the door. When you can hear a door open in the next room, wait for a few more seconds, then get out of cover and sneak back into the room you threw the wrench into. Sneak up on the police officer and garret him. Hide the body in the cabinet nearby and pick up the wrench again. Go back into the room you just came out of and wait for the police officer that is visible through the other door out of the room on the balcony to have first walked some distance down the balcony towards you, then have turned and is looking over the railing. Get out of the room through the door ahead and sneak past the police officer to the other side of the balcony. Near the door on the table is some ammunition which you might find useful to pick up. Go through the door and sneak down the stairs. At the bottom of the stairs is a small table with the barber disguise on it. Take the disguise, then turn around and throw the wrench near the rightmost chair in front of the police officer. Wait for the police officer to get off the sofa and have walked a small distance so you can get behind him, then sneak up on him and garret him. Drag his body out of the room through the door near the small table the barber outfit was on and hide his body in the cabinet in the corridor. With the barber outfit you are allowed to be in all areas of the barber shop except just in front of the television for now. Go into the main area with the television in it and go through the doorway next to the kitchen into the storage area. On your way there you pass a pizza. Another way to subdue Lenny is to pick up the sleeping pills in a room on the second floor and put the pills onto the pizza but don't let Lenny see you in the barber outfit. Wait for Luke to walk in. Once you can hear the door closing, Garrett Luke, which will cause a silent and signature kill on Luke. Hide his body in the wooden crate in one of the corners of the storage room. Go out through the door Luke just entered and follow Mason, who was standing near the barbecue, into the area you took out the two police officers earlier. But don't take him out yet. Another way to take out Mason is to sabotage the wire, near where he relieves himself and turn the lever to the right of the wire. This will cause Mason to be electrocuted, but that doesn't count as a silent kill and you won't easily be able to hide his body. Wait until a guard with a source bolt in his hand walks past and has gone out of sight up the stairs. Walk up to Mason and garret him, which will cause a silent and signature kill on Mason. Drag his body to the dumpster near where you hid the police officers in. Then go through the door that the guard with the source bottle in his hand came out of. Follow the corridor all the way towards the door, except your right just before the start of the last shelves. Sabotage the electricity box on the wall ahead. This will cause the television in the main area of the barbershop to turn off. Go back to the television in the main area of the barbershop. Wait for the police officer to have gone to fix the electricity box, then walk up to the television and take the evidence that is on top of it. Go into the barber room, you took out the police officer that was sitting on the couch in earlier. Taking out that police officer means that you get a slightly different, but better, cutscene at the end. Walk up to Lenny and pacify him. Once you've done that, it is the end of the barber shop and the shaving Lenny mission. So, there you go. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time.